Hey guys, Michael Stillwell here from Stillwell Pianos in Mesa, Arizona, and today we're going to talk about the difference between buying a new piano and a used piano. So a lot of you guys have been following us for a long time and you understand that we used to sell new pianos. Um, but we dropped all new lines when COVID hit and we went strictly back to our roots, which is all used pianos. And in this video, we're going to discuss why we did that. But we're also going to be touching on the importance of new pianos, even though we don't sell them right now. Um, there are some places where that is helpful. But I'm going to take you out on the floor and show you what we got going on out there and kind of compare some new pianos that we do have left in inventory to all of our used pianos and kind of the major differences there. Let's go. All right, so now we're out on the showroom floor and I'm standing in front of a Johannes Zeiler, which is brand new, and a used Falcone. Now we at Stillwell Pianos are going back to being strictly a used piano store. We're getting rid of all new product, but we still got a couple of these left and we were a dealer for uh, Zeiler for about a year um, and we still have a couple of these yet left. So this is a perfect time to make this video before they're all gone. But first and foremost, let's start looking at what's different. So like I said, this particular Falcone is a used piano, but it looks brand new. It looks like this piano, and that's because here at Stillwell Pianos, we have a full service workshop, and we buff every single piano that comes through our doors. We also do polyester touch-up, too. So a lot of times people come into our store and they go, where's all the used pianos? We say, well, the whole store is used, but we just do such a good job at kind of bringing these pianos up and making them look uh, brand new. So that's one similarity already. But another thing we notice right away is this. So on this brand new piano, you have a brand new silent system on the piano, meaning that you can press the middle pedal down and over, and that locks this bar that jumps right in between the hammers and the strings, and it stops the hammer from hitting the string about a centimeter before it hits. And now you have a keyboard. <laughs> so now instead of hearing the strings ringing, you can put headphones on and hear and play very quietly. You're just hearing your kind of the fingers tapping the keys, and that's about it. So that is a new feature, same with the nickel hardware. So think like, you can't go looking for a, like a 1992 Toyota 4Runner and get in there and go, why won't this play my Bluetooth phone? Well, that technology wasn't out then. And we have the same thing in the piano industry, and this is a perfect example of this. You're not gonna see that feature on a piano that's 25 years old because it wasn't out 25 years ago. So that's one, uh, one major difference. Another major difference is the warranty. So in a new piano, you're typically gonna have a 10-year manufacturer's warranty, which means you can go anywhere in the country and any registered piano technician can service this warranty. On a used piano, typically you have a store warranty. And a store warranty is probably gonna be pretty location-based. Like here in, at Stillwell Pianos, we offer a five-year warranty as long as you stay in the United States, or sorry, as long as you stay in Arizona, and a one-year warranty as long as you stay in the United States. So that's a big difference there too. Now the number one difference that you're gonna see when you come into this store, it is so much cheaper to buy used, dramatically cheaper. So when we sell a brand new piano, it was always kind of this feeling of, well, you can do it, just know that you're gonna keep it for a really, really, really long time. Just like buying a new car. Everybody knows that if you go out and you buy a brand new Toyota 4Runner for $45,000 in the next month, you try to go sell that piano, you're gonna lose probably 40 points on that thing instantly just because you drove it off the lot. That's where that phrase comes from. Same thing happens to pianos. So with new pianos, it's kind of worse than cars to be honest. You know, if you go buy a brand new piano, say it's $10,000 and the next month you try to go sell it privately, maybe you get five if you're lucky. So that's another major thing to keep in mind. And that's kind of why we're at Stillwell Pianos kind of morphing back into our roots, which has always used pianos because um, it feels a lot better selling these pianos. Uh, the customers that are savvy to this uh, tend to only look at used pianos. Um, so that's kind of why we're, we're going that route. So I'm gonna pull the cabinet parts off of these pianos and show you what the differences are on the inside of the piano. All right, so now I got the cabinet parts off the piano and we can look at what's going on on the inside. Ironically, both of these pianos were made by the same company. These are both Samick made pianos. And you can tell that because the serial number on Samick made pianos always start with a letter, not a number. Um, and so both of these start with letters over here. And if you look closely, they're eerily similar um, scale designs and even the way the plate is laid out. Um, they are different scale designs from what I understand. Uh, Zyler has their own um, designs for this, but they're pretty much identical. 
And once again, looking at them all open right next to each other, they look really similar. And that again kind of comes back to how far we go with our used pianos. I mean, this particular piano, this is the new Xyler. You can look inside. Obviously, everything just looks brand new. We even still got the, uh, the moisture packets in the bottom of the piano. Um, and then as you can see, you can see kind of the actual silent system that's built into this one. But it's clean, it looks great. Everything is dialed in and perfect. You don't see any hammers misaligned or anything like that. There's no broken strings or anything. And when we come over here, we have a brand or a, a used Falcone and kind of the same thing, right? We don't see, you know, any kind of stains anywhere. Your hammers are all nicely aligned. Um, they're all T-stapled hammers, just like over here. I mean, even to, <laughs> down to where they put these, these plate decals which are, by the way, just plastic that they paint over. And so these are all gonna be kind of the same pianos and they'll st stencil on these different names by putting these plastic plates over the plate itself before they paint it. So if you go to a piano store and you wanna figure out if it's a real Falcone or a real Xyler, open it up and go, and you'll hear kind of a little plastic sound a lot of times. Um, but again, totally clean, very well put together. You're not seeing any glaring issues at all. Um, we don't obviously have the silent system on this piano because it's older than that piano and it just wasn't around then. Instead, we have this practice pad, which you push down the middle pedal on this piano and it drops this felt in between the strings and the hammer and it makes the piano a little bit, a little bit softer for practicing. But again, the biggest issue here, the biggest difference between these two pianos, this piano is about less than a quarter of the price of the new piano. So this is primarily what we sell here at Stillwell Pianos. But guys, if you have any questions about the difference between new pianos and used pianos and kind of the benefits of both, please feel free to shoot me an email at michael at stillwellpianos.com. And always keep in mind, there is a place for new pianos. For families that want to keep a piano for generations and generations, it might be better to start with a brand new piano that's zero years old as opposed to one that already has 25 years of life on it. Um, same thing with cars. It's not the end of the world to buy a car that's brand new if you're going to keep it for a really long time. But if you're the type of person that's going to get a new car every four to five years, typically it's better to buy used. Um, and piano, you take that four to five years and turn it into maybe 20, 30 years. <laughs> so if you think you're going to get rid of it in 20, 30 years, um, you can go with used. But if you're going to keep it longer than that, go with new. You can pass it down generation to generation depending on the brand and the quality it started as. Um, but guys, I hope this helps. If you have any questions about this topic, always feel free to shoot me an email at michael at stillwellpianos.com. Thanks for watching.